Hello Hot Chill and welcome to a lesson on angles in a triangle. Today you'll be able to calculate the missing angles around a point. So the real life link is pretty much what it was in the last lesson where you had angles around a point. It's in mechanics, engineering and construction. As for the keywords, they're there as follows and the equipment required is also there as follows. So angles in a triangle, they add up to 180. No matter the type of triangle it is, these angles will add up to 180 degrees. So angle A, this is a sign over here means angle by the way, angle A, add angle B, add angle C is equal to 180. So A at B at C is equal to 180. So I want you to make sure you understand that angles in a triangle, no matter the type of triangles, they add up to 180 degrees. And we're talking about the internal angles, basically the inside angles of a triangle. So let's look at an example. I have a triangle over here. It's actually a right angle triangle. And as you can see, I'll draw it out of my piece of paper over here for you as well. I expect you to be doing this with a ruler, by the way, but for demonstration, I am doing it without one. So this angle over here is 65 degrees. This angle here, A, we do not know. And this angle over here is a right angle. Now, I like this cover up method just as I always do. If this is a right angle, by the way, you should know that that is 90 degrees, okay? But as I've been using my, my cover up method, it's probably the most optimal method you could use here. So we know that these three all add up to 180 degrees because angles in a triangle do add up to 180. If I were to take away this 90 and take away the 65, you can see that the only angle I'm left with in this triangle is this A. So, what I essentially want to do at the total of 180 degrees, I want to take away 65 degrees and I want to take away 90 degrees. And that would give me my angle A. So the total 180 degrees, take away 90 degrees and take away 65. Look, we're left with A. So 180 take away, I'm just going to do it as one number, in this case 155, just as we've been doing before. If I added these two together. I'm basically subtracting a total of 155 and that would be equal to 35 degrees. Now for the second question, we have a triangle, it looks like a scalene triangle, but it doesn't matter because remember all angles in a triangle, they add up to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the angle is, as long as you know that it adds to equal to 180 degrees, you can get to the end. To the end goes the answer. So again, the total angle over here is going to be equal to 180 degrees, right? The total triangle, sorry, it will equal to 180 degrees. If I were to subtract 15, this 15 over here, and this 27 degrees, I would get left with just a. Now 15 at 27 degrees, that would give us 42 degrees. So I'm going to go directly to do 180, subtract 42 degrees. When I tidy this up, I should get 138 degrees. Now I want you to have a go at these examples. I've gone through two. Using the same method, I want you to get these two. Now, all you're doing is finding the angle that doesn't actually have a length on it, or a size, sorry, on it. So you have 79 and 77 degrees. You don't know the third angle, and that's what I want you, what you, I want you to work out. And it's the same for the yellow triangle. So have a go, pause the video, of course, and once you're ready, unpause it, and I'll also be going through it. Good, so I hope you finished the triangle and you've gotten to your correct answer. I'll also go through it, so let me label my triangle. We know that it's a, a triangle at the equal 180 degrees, right? So we want to take away the 79 and take away the 77. Um, of course, I like doing the total first, so 79 and 77 first, and that should be giving you 156. And course the and we want to subtract that from 180 okay so zero take away six we can't do borrow one ten take away six is four seven take away five is two and one take away one is of course zero so our angle over here should have been 24 degrees good now for the second triangle again I'll quickly just sketch it out this angle over here is said to be 32 degrees this one is said to be 79 degrees, and we don't know this angle over here. Call it question mark, call it X, call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get to the answer. 
Once again, 32 at 29 in this case will be 111. We know that the full angle, the total of all three angles is 180. Two of them are going to be 111 together, aren't they? So if we subtract that 111 away, we should end up with 69. Okay, so 69 degrees is what you should have gotten for this angle over here. But now that you've done that, I want you to have a go at these questions. If you're in set four, you should be able to do all of these questions. And if you're in set five, you should be able to do at least A, B, C, and D. So have a go, of course, and take a photo of your work and then upload it onto Class Good luck.